Hey y'all, if you are new, welcome, and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. As you guys can see, we are back today with another client tutorial. We're going to begin by brushing through her eyebrows to fill them in. Today I'm using the LA Girl Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. I use a Kylie Jenner Skin Concealer in the shade Granola to clean up her brows. For her primer um, on her eyelid, I used the Too Faced Born Sway Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. Y'all, why is Too Faced Concealer sold out everywhere? Literally, all I think I usually go for Golden, Butterscotch, and Mocha, and literally all of them are sold out. I can't find them anywhere. I went to Too Faced Instagram page, and they said that they're working to get it back in stock, but that was a whole month ago. Like, I'm going to need them to hurry up, because that's, like, honestly one of my favorite concealers. That and Kylie Jenner. And Kylie Jenner discontinued hers. Like, <laughs> at this point, y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm picking up E17 and I'm dipping into my Juvia's Place. What is the green palette called? Oh my God. I'm taking this green from the Tribe palette from Juvia's Place and I'm packing that in like the first half of her crease. So like I say all the time, key to pigmentation is just to keep building your color up. You want to just keep packing it and packing it and packing it until it's the color you want it to be. And then you want to blend it with a lighter color and then go back in with a darker color. Like... You know what I'm saying? You just got to keep building the color up until it looks how you want it to look. So on the M506 brush, I picked up the light green out of the exact same tribe palette from Judith's Place. And we're just going to use that to blend out the dark green. I didn't do it in this video because I just feel like it was needed. But if you feel like you're having problems with your actual, like the two colors actually showing, like maybe if you feel like they're blending in together, but they're not like giving the ombre effect, you definitely can go in with a lighter color that complements that lighter color, if that makes sense. So like right now, I'm using the light green, but if I felt like the light green wasn't showing enough, no matter how much I packed on, I would go on top of it with yellow because yellow would really help bring it out. There's definitely a difference between actually putting yellow, like actually making the yellow show and just using it to blend it with the lighter green to bring the lighter green out but in this look like i said i feel like it wasn't necessary and also i didn't want to put too much yellow because i know how i am and i didn't really want the look to end up being green and yellow i just wanted it to be green so yeah that was just a quick tip for you guys so now we're going in with a large fluffy brush just to blend everything together i typically only do this in the inner corners towards the nose and also when i feel like i'm blending too far up to the eyebrow like that just kind of gives me like a more buffed or blended type of look and it's not so harsh. So with this same concealer, I'm cutting her crease. I'm not doing a full winged out cut crease. I'm going to take her crease like maybe halfway. Y'all going to have to just watch. I don't know how to explain this part. But let me go get the name of this brush. Let me, hold on y'all, hold on, hold on. This is an M213 from Morphe. I feel like it's really for beginners because it's so little. Like I really could use a bigger brush if I wanted to. But I'm so used to using this same brush to the point I just, I just always grab it when it's time for me to cut a crease. Thank you. 
actually did wing out her cut crease at the top because I didn't want it to be like a harsh cut off. But as far as it being a full cut crease, it's not. I mean, well, it is, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like, I'm not cutting her entire lid, if you get what I'm saying. Y'all will see. So on that same M506, I'm just taking it and blending out that green right there. Y'all see how it's kind of a harsh cut off right there with the eyeshadow? I'm blending that out. And then on another M506, I went into my 39A palette. I'm not sure exactly the name of this color, but I did just grab a color that was maybe like a shade or half a shade darker than her to go ahead and blend out on the bottom half of her lid. And I brought it in towards like the middle. I just kind of went crazy with the brown. I wanted to give like a winged out, smoked out type of effect. So I'm just using the M213 to make sure there are no harsh lines like anywhere. I want to make sure everything is like seamlessly blended. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost sure this new shade I'm using is from the Nikki Tutorials palette. It's the only new shade in the palette, really. I'm applying that with another M506. I'm applying some dual lash glue. This glitter pigment I'm using is from J. La Rue Cosmetics in the shade Heavenly. It's like a gold color. I just took that and packed that like in the top part of the cut grease. I took a darker shade of brown, also from the 39A palette, and I smoked that out above her lash line, just to give it like more of an ombre effect. So she came with a moisturized face, so I just went on top of that with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. For foundation, I used the Maybelline Fit Me. I believe I mixed a 356 and a 360. The 360 is kind of dark, so I believe I used majority of the 356. Um, so I'm just applying that with this Real Techniques brush. As you guys know, all of my brushes, my face brushes are from Real Techniques. They're the perfect size. They fit in the perfect places on the face like I need them to. So I just always grab my Real Technique brushes. I'm going to contour her face with this Juvia's Place Foundation Stick in the shade Sakoto. Sakoto. I hope I said that right. For her highlighter underneath her eyes, I'm taking the, college, the same collagen concealer. Y'all, I hope y'all don't hear that thunder, y'all. It's been a storm. I'm low-key trying to hurry up. <laughs> I'll try to hurry up. But I'm taking the same concealer in the shade Granola. As y'all saw, I used the brush to blend out the concealer first, and then I went in on top of it, the, the, on top of it with a sponge. I believe the sponge is from NYX. Not my favorite, like I told y'all in my last client video. I do like the sponges from Shop Miss A because they have that very pointed tip on them, and I can really get like in the corner of my client's eyes. Oh, and they're only a dollar. At least they were last time I bought some, and I bought like a bunch of them, so I really need to go buy a bunch more. I really hope they're still a dollar. 
but I'm setting it out with my Morphe setting powder like I told y'all before. Kylie Jenner's concealer sets so well with this Morphe setting powder. Either that or that's just a really good concealer and it's just a very good powder. But they work so well together. Like, I love them together. Which is why I'm so hurt because why would she just continue it? <laughs> okay, so we are contouring her nose with an M506 brush. I'm using this bronzer from Makeup Revolution in the shade Medium. See, y'all see how I dusted away like butter? Well, I didn't really dust it away. I just kind of tapped it in. But it looks so silky smooth. She also has really pretty skin as well. But still, like, it still gives me like a really soft finish. And I have to go back in and fix her lashes because they were trying to lift in the corners. But I'm taking that exact same bronzer I just told you guys about to actually bronze or set her contour. And then we're going to reverse contour. I think that's what it's called. Or in other words, I'm just going to take some powder and go underneath her contour to kind of slim her face out even more and then we're going to add some blush i love this blush duo it's from sister cosmetics i do have one for clients and i just absolutely i had to get one i love it actually they sent it to me they sent me both of them but yeah this red is just everything and then we're going to take some more of that dark green and smoke it out underneath her lash line highlighter today is coming from the warrior palette from juvia's place i've actually been using it quite often it's the champagne color that's in the center of the palette first we just highlight underneath her eyebrows her nose the inner corners of her eyes and her cheekbones This lip liner is from Sister Art Cosmetics in the shade Coco. And then for her actual lip color, I used the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Cinnamon Roll. I set her face with the Sistar Cosmetics setting spray, and that's pretty much it for this look, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up, and make sure you are subscribed for more videos, and I will see you guys in my next one.